Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Optral Tech N95 respirator. These are manufactured in Switzerland and we purchased them from Project N95. You get a pack of 20 for $82, which is a little bit on the more expensive side. So let's go ahead and look at these respirators before we test them on our TSI machine. They do come packaged in fives. So this is how they look. They do have one long continuous headband. So they do have a very stiff nose wire, which usually is a good thing. However, sometimes it's actually hard for you to actually frame it to your face. So we're gonna see how this works on our face. The way that this headband is being bonded, as you guys can see right here, the band is just overlapping and it's extremely easy for these to just rip off. So they all have that sort of bonding on them. It's super, super easy for these just to rip off. So let's go ahead and try one of these on. Like I said, the nose wire is very stiff, but it's also very hard for you to manage it and frame it to your nose. So the first thing that I am noticing is that it is a very itchy material for both the headband and the inside of the mask. The headband down here, it obviously touches your neck and that part is very itchy. And I am getting a little bit of collapse, but I'm also still getting some leakage on the side of the nose. I'm still getting a little bit of leakage on there, on the top part of my face. I tried to adjust the continuous strap, but the bottom one is actually very loose. So I don't feel like this is like 100% secure on my face. Other than that, I do feel like I am getting a good fit of the mask. It's not too large on me. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these tests on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.23% filtration efficiency and a pressure drop of 12.6 millimeters of water. Second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.33 and a pressure drop of 11.9 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 98.92 and a pressure drop of 11.6 millimeters of water. Overall, these respirators tested well for both filtration efficiency and pressure drop. They aren't the most comfortable to wear though, and it wouldn't be my first pick for someone who has a petite face. But nonetheless, these are within the N95 standard and they will protect you. I really hope that you guys found the video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next, or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator, please look at the description box down below. We're gonna be having our address along with our website, which is acumet.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.